a gut-wrenching week of violence, shaking America and inflaming a divisive political summer. The gruesome police ambush in Dallas on the heels of police shootings in Louisiana and Minnesota, creating a new test of political leadership. There is too much violence, too much hate, too much senseless killing, too many people dead who shouldn't be. Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump canceling campaign stops in the wake of the massacre. She did appear Friday night before black church leaders in Philadelphia, calling for national guidelines on use of force by police. We will make it clear for everyone to see when deadly force is warranted and when it is not. Trump released a video late Friday saying the slaying of five Dallas police officers has shaken the soul of the nation. A brutal attack on our police force is an attack on our country and an attack on our families. An overheated presidential campaign suddenly confronted by a burning crisis over the police, violence, and race. Shut the whole system down! All this now front and center in the escalating fight between Clinton and Trump. Why do you believe you would be better suited at handling the racial divide in America than Donald Trump? I have been involved in working to try to close the racial divide my entire adult life. I will call for white people like myself to put ourselves in the shoes of those African-American families who fear every time uh, their children go somewhere. Trump is framing the divide in starker terms. Racial divisions have gotten worse, not better. Too many headlines flash across our screens every day about the rising crime and rising death tolls in our cities. Both candidates said Americans must respect the police, regardless of rising incidents of wrongful shootings. We cannot, we must not vilify police officers. Remember what those officers were doing when they died. They were protecting a peaceful march. The protests are erupting across the country, with voters also demanding answers from congressional leaders mired in gridlock. Black lives on Capitol Hill, Democrats pointed fingers at Republicans. If this Congress does not have the guts to lead, then we are responsible for all the bloodshed on the streets of America, whether it be at the hands of people wearing a uniform or the, whether it's at the hands of criminals. There will be a temptation to let our anger harden our divisions. Let's not let that happen. Four months before Election Day, shootings, gun violence, and race in America. Suddenly a very serious conversation to an already overheated presidential campaign. Jeff Zeleny, CNN, Philadelphia.